Hey, it's me, Site 7 Welcome back to part 7 of Library of Runa. We've got some paths to choose from. I think I'll start over on the left. Taste of sweepers never cease to surprise. Hey, listen to her voice, it's so cool. I love it. Always disgusting in new ways, never realized there could be so many flavors of filth. Reminded of taste, a fixer we ate was soft, was happy. Hard to eat but tasty, produced good silk, was satisfied. Must feed on sweepers for another week. Man, I feel like the way they talk reminds me of something, but I can't, can't quite think of what it is. Because we must spin more silk? Index gave such prescript. What if Mother of Sweepers moved before we finish? We hunt and feast? Must weave cloth. No? Wondered if we have plans once Sweepers start retaliation. If they all seriously try to eat us, we must have limits? Sweepers are quiet for now. Reasons unknown. Index has its gaze on us. We only make fabric as prescript pointed. No other prescript from Index? None? No need for worry. Index is good friend? Hello everyone. Greetings? Greetings. Messenger. Greetings. Yes. Thanks for the greetings. I'm here to give you guys a new prescript. Head to library? Have other paper with you? This is no prescript. You're right. This is an invitation to the library. It's needed according to the prescript. I must go to library? We must eat sweepers and weave fabric. Can we eat messenger? Will be tasty? What produce good silk? No, I'm afraid not. You guys must obey the prescripts, remember? You want to continue your silk making business, no? If you don't follow your prescripts, the proxies will visit you. Prescript, prescript come first for us. If we break order, prescript will not forgive? Perhaps library have new ingredient to make new silk with. So I'm done delivering the prescript, I'll be on my way. I'm sure you guys are already aware, but don't forget what happens if you fail to carry out any prescript. Sorry to interrupt, but we're here to retrieve our fabric. Hello there, it's the Kurakuma clan, a thumb subsidiary, right? Greetings, Kurakuma clan. We'll take the Nuovo fabric requested by the thumb. The payment is in that briefcase. By the by, I'm certain a finger bell bell is about to begin. This is a rather frivolous behavior from the index. What should we do, dame? He may be a simple messenger, but he's still an executive member of the index. It'll be difficult to take him on by our own. It is a valuable opportunity nonetheless, especially since the messenger is alone right now. Sure, all I do is deliver words from above. The index is the same as always. Now then, why don't we go our own ways? We're done with all business here. The carnival can visit the library, we can take our fabric. Mr. Messenger probably has places to be. Is that an organization producing fabric? Yep, quality fabric is a rarity. Tailors are just as important as syndicates and fixers. Those guys seem to be operating underground. Looks like they're eating people to make silk. So special about it, isn't it just the same old piece of cloth? Nuh uh, that's not your ordinary textile, ma'am. You still have a lot to learn. There's a good reason a lot of hotshots in the city are just in normal looking attire and not plate armor. Probably seen it from some guests. Those aren't just regular clothes. 
High quality fabric can provide just as much protection as an augmentation procedure. Not even money could buy top of the line fabric sometimes. Some can only be earned by joining memberships of workshops or tailors. Some things in the world are entangled in a complex web of interests like fame and stuff, which can't be cleared with money alone. It's starting to feel days from all this information. Well, that's enough of that. Why don't we close our eyes for a moment and make a wish? And you aren't helping at all. You gotta pray that the prescripts don't target the library. Okay. I can close my eyes and make a wish. Uh, are you actually playing along? I mean, our eyes are closed. I wish for you to stop babbling nonsense. Oh. Anyway, things will get real messy once a prescript points at the library. Index, one of the five fingers, is gonna be after us. Could do anything to keep coming for our asses. The index? One of the five giant syndicates that rule over the back streets. They're called as such because they literally have all of the back streets in their hands. It's simple, really. Anyway, the five fingers have enough power and influence to revel the wings. Nothing good will come out of opposing them. And in the index is like a group of zealots. They obsess over the orders they call prescripts. For them, prescripts are something they must follow. Yep, prescripts must be carried out, as they say. And we have a subsidiary of the thumb butting in too. I just hope things don't escalate too much. Whoever may visit, we simply do our best to receive them. Hungry? Want? And spin new kind of thread. Excited? Greetings, guests. Greetings. Greetings? Greetings. It's okay to eat. Could produce wonderful silk. We'll make pretty blue silk. Seems she would taste even worse than sweepers. True. Does not seem human. Want to eat something tasty now? Tired of disgusting food. I'm Angela, director and librarian. May you find your book. Such short greeting. So insincere, too. Disappeared. Okay, so this fight could be a little crazy. So they have this four cost card that does a ton of damage and we don't really have anything to counter it. So, and another thing is if you, you have to kill these guys in pretty much the same time, because if one of them dies, the other two will gain strength, two strength. Which would mean something like tailoring would be an 8 to 12 instead. And I did do some passive attribute changes. So, should be set up. Let's see how we do. This is our first urban plague fight. On this fascinating fabric is pretty cool card. Yep, so here's the tailoring. And so this is fascinating fabric. And so 
ideally you want to use these against this because this will at least blunt some of the damage and since we're using protect we'll take a little bit less too actually clashing with this is okay Oh, I had one on him too. Okay, so I'll clash that there so that I can clash here. Okay, I think this is good. We got one staggered, so I'll try and get him low next scene. Or I guess he's low now. Okay, there's another tailoring. And I have two enduring on everyone, so that actually won't do much. Oh man, do I want to take this? Yeah, I think I'm in a good spot to kill everything. So this will stagger. That'll also probably stagger. Which means I can go ahead and kill this one off. Quite get there. This is a little annoying to deal with. So that'll kill there. Just have to worry about this one, and this should be almost done. Should get two of them down. See, he has the plus two strength now. I 
Oh, so he died from fervent beats. I don't even know if this will kill. Okay, it did. And that's the carnival. It's a pretty good impression. Exhausted? Tired? Want rest? Hungry? Want out? Why amputated? Bones melt? Flesh explode? Won't die. Eh, hers could use some work. Actually, we can... We can let's do it again. Pretty good. Sorry, ma'am. I'll stop here. What do you think will happen next? Looking at how things are going, we're pretty much guaranteed to confront at least one of the fingers. I've already heard the thumb and the index. Any one of them is going to be a huge pain in the ass. Look forward to it. Oh, of course you do. I'm the one doing all the fighting and bleeding for you. No, this goes without saying, but I am thankful for what you do. Sure you are, ma'am. In any case, let's give it our best shot. Now we get some books to burn. Yeah, this card is really good. The other ones are okay-ish. This is alright. Um, this could be okay too. The fine silk? I don't know. You can kind of make a deck based around it later on, but it's not that good compared to everything else you'll have. Now go to the credenza. Carnival's page. There are many important things to consider as a fixer. An attire is one of them. A fixer's attire is the most effective way to signify the image of an office. It's important for an office to show that it has formality and class. Most offices have set a dress code for that reason. As much as it's necessary to choose the right attire according to the code, the most important factor is the fabric that clothing is made of. Quality fabric can offer better protection. Lighten the wearer's weight for quicker movement, or allow the wearer to carry heavy weapons as large as their body. Those who create and provide such fabric are called tailors. There are tailors who consume people and make silk out of them. Whether it's melting people inside their belly and congealing them in a mold, or it's unraveling humans into the thread they're really made of, the fundamentals do not matter. The thread they're really made of? Oh my gosh technology doesn't originally belong to us. We merely took hold of a technology that came off patent when a wing was broken. The only thing that matters is that silk made from humans has strength that differentiates it from ordinary thread. Only those who crave it visit us. Cloth weave from human silk possesses various powers depending on the human strengths. Some humans may have a strong body, Another may be fragile but wise, and yet another may flaunt incredible speed. Since the silk reflects the characteristics of the human it was made from, there are as many forms and powers of cloth as there are humans in this world. Therefore, there is more to being a tailor than simply weaving silk carefully. Picking the right people to meet the demands of the client is the most important. Hastily making silk out of a human that looks courageous on the outside might end up yielding useless cloth that does nothing but bolster courage. So one must be careful with picking the right material. Not every piece of fabric is accessible, however. It takes more than cash to purchase high-class fabric. One must earn the favor of tailors first and foremost. Many tailors will only give their best fabric once the trust between them and their client has been established after complex turns of events. 
Because of that, tailors who make high quality fabric usually belong to an organization and create cloth exclusively for them. But we were different. Until the index gave us a prescript, we did our work without taking orders from anyone. Unchained to any syndicate or other organization. We were free as some may call it. So I think this is a prescript here. Eat 15 sweepers and extract silk from them to make fabric. Good stuff. Now we could go up here, but this is a tougher battle than what we're ready for. I could go ahead and equip some of this stuff too. I think that might be pretty good. It's really strange not having draw cards. I think that's that's the one thing I'm feeling the most in this new playthrough. We'll go here. I don't remember who this is, actually. Oh, so you, I guess something I should mention is the Book of Distortion. If you do lose this to get it back, you just go and do a Zwei fight. I think three. Or no, two is where you originally get it. So two or three and you'll get it back. I've seen a couple of people that got stuck because of that. Salutations, everyone. I'll just begin with today's worship session. It appears that we have a new worshiper. What concerns have brought you here to our oratory? I don't think I can continue living in the city anymore. Too much for me. What could have overwhelmed you so much? Everything is so dreary, and so is my life. I wake up at 6 in the morning, go to work by 8, and do the same work with the same face every single day. What, just get a new face? By the time I leave work, it's already 10 in the evening. I'm not sure what I'm doing anymore. I have so many expenses to cover every single month, I can't seem to get any richer. Everyone I see during my commutes has the same face. I don't see why we work, why we earn money, or why we live. I feel like I've lost my goal, my purpose. I'm just like a cog wheel. Yeah, I really am. I'm living like a cog in the machine. Even if I were gone, this city would soon find another cog to replace me. What am I? Where does my worth lie? I understand that feeling. Everyone in the city is like a gear spinning along without a purpose. Staying in the middle of it wears you out slowly. You're right. I really feel like that. However, is it necessarily a bad thing to be a gear? Of course she'd say that, she's wearing one. All problems stem from the refusal to admit to the fact that they were, we are indeed gears ourselves. I did too once. After my father passed away, I lost my way for a while. You see, my father lived his life akin to a gear wheel. You always wake up at the same hour, go to the same place, come home at the same time with the same face. My father did research on gears. His goal was, was to solve the same type of problems you're going through. Perhaps he unknowingly grew to resemble the single object he studied for so long. The wrinkles on his forehead deepened as he worked. They resembled the teeth of a gear. My father lived out his whole life as a rusted gear of the city until he was murdered by someone. I remember that. 
Tron. Oh. And one day, I came across a thought. Maybe we really are gears that constitute the city. Maybe our suffering comes from trying to deny our own identity. That kind of life is pointless. I'm tired of being a purposeless cog that keeps running day by day. Exactly. The problem is that you see yourself as an aimless gear. You mean gears can have a purpose? Yes, of course they can. All we need to do is find the purpose we were born to mesh with. You shall become a unique gear that cannot be replaced by any other. We are all gears. There are simply so many gears in this world wallowing in sadness, but they have yet to know where and how to be. That's... so hard to believe that. Take a look at all the people gathered here. Do they have the same faces as the one you've seen in your everyday life? No, they all look happy. Please, trust in me. Yes, this is the only way I have. Now come up here. I'll give you the purpose in life you're looking for. Do I sit on this chair? Yes, take a seat and relax. This chair will tell you what kind of gear you are. Is this really safe? Of course it is. Oh my, you turned out to be a thought gear. A thought gear? It is exceedingly rare for one to be bestowed with the purpose of a thought gear, you see. They are helping me even now. Your information, my father was also a thought gear. That means those gears in the back of your head are... This one is my father. He always provides me with his wisdom about life. Besides, meat gears need to keep company with at least one thought gear. But wait, am I really going to turn into a gear? Pain is only temporary. It will soon be followed with pure fulfillment. Everyone, let us welcome the honorable and invaluable arrival of a new thought gear. Wait, wait! I didn't know this would happen. As the gears turn, so too does life fulfill its cycle. So that's Elin, cult leader of the Church of Gears. <sighs> Seen all kinds of gears in my life, but thought gears are new to me. This may just be the rumored ritual of theirs. They get smarter by plugging gears on the back of their heads, apparently. That's a load of horseshit. Alright, let's see. Director Eugen from the Shi Association asked us to kill 10 worshippers of the church, neutralize its leader, and secure her. I didn't quite expect the Director of Shi Association Section 2 to personally give our office a request. Something strange might be up. How long are we going to sit and watch that? Can we start shooting now? Wait for my sign. Oh, what a beautiful thought gear you have become. I will give you the honor of accompanying, accompanying me. Right there. You shall soon understand how happy it is to be a gear with a purpose. Yes, it may take some time to adjust. Let us start with turning bit by bit. Good, along with the others, gently rotate. One cycle at a time. My father will gladly help you out. See, it does make you feel happy, doesn't it? I'm very glad to know you are happy. 
My dear followers, today, another lost gear has found its way to happiness. Praise be to Father. Praise be. Huh? What do you mean, be careful? Now. What is going on? The gears, the poor gears. Please don't do this. Whoever you are, please, leave us alone. We simply wanted to live a happy life following our destined purposes. God, why is their slippery leader so hard to hit? She doesn't seem to be dodging the bullets with her own reflexes. As if something else is predicting the trajectories for her. Those thought gears on her head are spinning like crazy. Damn it, this sucks. We paid an arm and a leg for these bullets. Tamaki, think we can read the movement pattern of those gears? Can do. Oh, they got her. Raised her shoulder. I hit all the dead worshippers. I'll finish her off. A bullet crafted by Atelier Logic. Why, those are some expensive bullets you have there, don't you, friends? Blue reverberation. You are. Ah, uh, could you be the person my father always talked about? Hmm. I guess. Say, I need you right now. Would you like to come with me? Yes, of course. I've been waiting for you my whole life. A perfect fit with the gear that is me. I thank you. No, you don't. But first, these friends need some attention. Pluto, would you look after you lean in the meantime? Run! What the hell is going on? Why would the blue reverberation be here? No idea. Damn it, it looks like he's trying to kill us. If we screw this job up, we're gonna be bankrupt from all the bullets we've wasted. We literally just saw the blue reverberation deflect our bullets. We're no match for him in any way. Forget about anything else. We should run away and survive for now. We're almost to the exit. Hi, friends. Who could have made such an adorable little request, I wonder? I howl to the left. Ah, you're not getting anywhere with your sluggish feet, don't you see? <laughs> Look at his face. This guy. Unless a lifeline were to come down from the heavens, that is, no? Damn it, maybe we should drop our guns. Are you nuts? These were hella expensive. Never throwing them away. We can't hide forever either. Liwi, this is. What's that? An invitation? From the library or whatever. I heard that the Hannah designated it as an urban plague now. Oh, look at you, all clustered together in the corner. I like a flock of cute little chicks gathered around in the cold. Blue reverberation, we apologize if we interrupted your business. You promised to forget about anything we've seen and heard here, so could you let us go? What? Okay, under one condition. Can you tell me who gave you this request? I'll give you 10 seconds. 9? God, what is Liu Wei? Do something with that invitation thing. 6? Anyone got a pen? We need something to sign the paper with. Ah, you can use mine. Take your time now. Or... Crazy bastard. Quick, sign your names here. Three. Yeah, the real show is only beginning, wouldn't you agree? But of course. The blue reverberation. 
The name sounds similar to the Red Mist. Got that right. Both of them are top grade fixers that received a color from the Hanna Association. They're cut above grade one. It's curious that such a capable fixer showed up so early. There are lots of nut, nut cases among fixers, but the blue vibration is on a whole nother level. He's a certified lunatic. Is he famous? Oh, he is. He certainly got skills, even if he is bonkers. He does appear to be skilled, seeing how he blocks those blocked those gunshots. That's why guns aren't used too often. They're not very effective against actually competent opponents. Now that you mention it, the majority of guests we've had so far didn't carry firearms. Is there any other reason guns aren't used? It's the cost. They're awfully expensive. It's just not worth it most of the time. Guns are pricey on their own, but bullets are plain ridiculous, like those poor folks said. Manufacturing bullets must be quite costly. That's true, of course. The biggest factor, though, is the tax the head levied on firearms. Depends on the gun, but two full magazines worth of bullets cost almost the same as a decent gun. Heck, giving your entire office crew augmentation procedures is probably cheaper than keeping enough bullets in stock for them to use. The cost is so high, it outweighs the benefit by a metric ton, and it's hard to find a workshop that treats guns or bullets. What's more, workshops aren't even allowed to craft those without a firearm manufacturing license, which is apparently very tricky to get. What do you think is the reason firearms are made so inaccessible? It's just my hunch, but I think they don't want killings to happen too easily. Killing what? People in general. I didn't quite expect the rulers of the city to be humanitarians. No, not because the head in the city value human life or anything, obviously. It seems like they have this weird philosophy that the process of a human killing another shouldn't be trivial or insignificant. How funny, death can be plenty insignificant even without guns. Well, you aren't wrong there. Phew, it's not following us all the way here. As if some omniscient person is toying with us. I butchered that. Blue Verberation seemed like he knew everything. We should be thankful that we survived him somehow. Don't get too nervous, Stefan. How can I not be nervous? We ended up in the library we know almost nothing about. You know we're almost out of bullets, right? What was the point of running away from the blue reverb if we're gonna die here anyway? We should at least try to die a bit later, obviously. Humans all die eventually. There's little use in delaying the inevitable. See, he's got a point. Don't worry, I'll work it out. Greetings, dear guests. Hello. I'm St Stefan, soon to be dead and shelved into your bookcases. You don't quite appear to be spirited, dear guest. It's ultimately up to you whether you'll become a book or return triumphantly with the ones you need. Yeah, thanks for the kind words. Ruining our mood. Don't mind him. We're in a bit of a hurry right now. We'll just take care of the business here and go back. I understand. Various guests visit here with their own reasons and purpose. There have been much more impolite guests, so please do not worry about your attitude. Any bad feeling about this lady? Seems just as eerie as the Blue Reverb. Maybe just dying to the Blue Reverb was a better idea than this. Tweet, tweet, tweet. What are you, a parent? Get inside already. Fine, hothead. May you find your book in this place.
All right, here we go. So this is our first ranged battle. And I'm not very well equipped for this. <laughs> Six to 20, five to 12. Yeah, so Tamaki, you want to take out first. She does a ton of damage. Or it's like guaranteed damage, because clashing with this is really rough. Um, Stefan's not too bad. But there is a gimmick with ranged cards. And I will talk about that in the middle of the fight, because it's a little hard to explain without seeing it. But it means I need to change up my deck just a bit. We're gonna need this. Probably actually use two of those just in case. I wanna get it on more than one person. So that should be okay. Yep, so the icons designate whether they're melee or ranged. Now, obviously, when someone's shooting, it's always going to be faster. So, no matter what the speed die is, these ranged cards will always go before melee cards. Now this is a single use, I'm definitely going to lose that, so I don't even think I want to try clashing with it. And I could clash with a defensive dice if I had one first just to mitigate some of the damage. And now I might be able to show off what I was talking about earlier. So when a ranged dice, or when ranged cards shoot, they clash with offensive dice, or they can clash with offensive dice multiple times. So if this wins against this first dice here, this dice will get re-rolled and it can beat out this one, or the second ranged attack. So it's a little awkward to explain, but see it in action. So he should shoot first because his speed die is higher and it goes in ranged order. You can see how it won and it re-rolled itself. Yeah, look at that. So I got destroyed there. Oh, I forgot, she gains three power on the first scene too. And he gained one, he gains two. But my clashes weren't very good there. So now that this has two dice on it and it's clashing with this, this first dice will be rolled against this first dice and then the second one here will be rolled against that and then it goes back to the top for that third dice. I really want to get just plain damage on Tamaki here. I hope this one's out because of the endearing, but 
We'll see. I guess I should mention that evade dice can be re-rolled against these range cards too. Oh man, this is a bad spot. I think she's going to get staggered. This is just going to do a ton of damage. I guess I'll be able to stagger just with that. That might be okay. That might win, but I'm not going to bet on that too much. And we'll see if the evade dice can do some work. See how the evade dice got re rolled. Okay, two of them staggered, and one of me is staggered. That's unfortunate. I can't clash with him. I don't have a high enough speed die. So this will kill. But I can just go for kills, so I'm not too worried about it. I can't hold out anymore, sorry. Stay vigilant, this isn't over yet. Damn it, let me out of this insanity. I don't think we've seen this effect yet. Feeble decreases the power of every offensive dice by one. So it's kind of like paralyzed, but better. So this will probably kill. Looks like I got this in the bag now. I was a little worried that I wasn't prepared for this fight. Not yet, I don't want to fall yet. Too bad. And that's the full stop office. That Stefan fellow turned into a book just as he expected. I'm sorry to see him keep railing at the world till the end. You think it's wrong to blame the world? Oh no, nothing wrong with that. It's not like I think he was weak-willed for putting the blame on this world for his miseries. It's just that I pity myself for living in that same world. I'm sorry that I keep trying not to fault this world. I curse this world. Same to be honest. Alright. 
Now, these cards can be kind of good, but they're single use, so ranged cards get exhausted after you use them one time. And you also have to have the, the specific passive ability, and I don't think this can be transferred. Yeah, it's not even in the list. I've got some reading to do. Start with Stefan. New fixers use guns for self-defense. Bullets cost an arm and a leg, and foes who are relatively powerful tend to dodge shots like it's nothing. I can barely graze them. Not a lot of ways to react to enemies closing in either. You'd have to be quick on the draw and shoot them in the weak spots. If you aren't, the other options are running away or grabbing some prop to guard yourself. Like hell, that'll save you. It takes several augmentation procedures to be able to carry something as heavy as a firearm and run fast enough. If you're a sniper, you'll be busy packing up your weapon, mount, and everything. You have to make unnecessarily big movements. What if the pressurous gun gets damaged if you try blocking your foe's attack with it? Oh, I was talking about the kinds of guns me and Tamaki use, not firearms in general. See what Leeway is carrying? I heard there are lighter rifles and some that come with bayonets for close quarters combat. But mind you, those guns have their fair share of downsides, so don't be too quick to buy them. You might as well save the money and get a quality workshop weapon or an augmentation surgery instead. Hell, you could probably buy a fine weapon with the money it takes to buy bullets for target practice. You weren't planning on using guns in actual fights without practicing, were you? I mean, go ahead, if you really want dislocated shoulders and severed fingers. Despite all this, there still are workshops that manufacture guns and people like us who use them. Guns are just that comfortable to use. Those heavy taxes won't be a problem as long as you use your gun for its intended purpose. How many defenseless thugs standing in the middle of the street can notice a bullet flying toward them? Of course, it'd be even better to get specially made workshop devices that use a special technology to muffle the sound of gunfire. But don't expect too much. There's currently no technology in our world that can completely cancel out noise, and it won't exist in the foreseeable future. You don't need that to make guns work though. All it takes is an advantageous situation. Now, Tamaki. There aren't many workshops that can craft guns. Setting aside the low demand, the difficulty of acquiring a firearms manufacturing license and the head strict guidelines are the biggest limitations. The guidelines include clauses such as the maximum length of the gun barrel must be shorter the higher the gun's caliber is. No gun should possess the firepower to penetrate steel or building walls. A gunfire sound must be audible. I haven't even started with the bad ones yet. First page of the guideline boldly states, do not research or imagine technology that infringes the firearm manufacturing guidelines as provided by the head along with the license. I'm not a gunsmith myself, so I don't know the details and I frankly don't want to know any more than that. There certainly are workshops permitted to make S-Class firearms, but I'm guessing only three to five of them exist in the entire city. Who do they take requests from, where they are, and what kind of people run them, they're all a mystery. The most I could hear was a rumor that an S-Class workshop exists somewhere. People say that the head put heavy restrictions on firearms because they don't want it to they don't want its denizens to be harmed too easily. It's true that a gun can effortlessly kill a person with one well-placed shot. That's not all. A sandlight doesn't have to show themselves to attack, and a flying bullet is simply too fast for the average person to track with their eyes, making it a fine weapon for stealthy, stealthily killing others. But making it harder to kill people doesn't seem good enough a reason to impose such restrictions. What about the countless other trifling and useless methods that exist to kill people? 
just cannot understand it that they would see this as a solely philosophical issue. Are you asking if it's because the wings don't have sufficient technical expertise? I'm not here for senseless chatter. The wings could easily make superior weapons with their technology. There's no real reason they couldn't improve upon the current designs. There are probably some people who feel the same as me. They don't question it further or try to dig deeper into the truth because, well, they have their hands full making their ends meet, and they don't want to risk losing it all meddling in business secrets, I suppose. Alleyways. Color is the dream and lifetime goal of all fixers who wish for freedom. Those who have been assigned a color are called the colors. A color is the pride of the fixer and the association. They put forward the colors as great and successful people that other fixers will look up to. They dream of earning wealth and fame and to be free like them one day. Colors are assigned by the Hanna Association. They're bundled into such a category because the Hanna deemed them to be the most ideal fixers, because they're the most adequate individuals to deal with the stars of the city. The title of a color is forcibly given to fixers who qualify, essentially. Can a fixer be truly happy with freedom that was forcefully handed to them? There's an interesting question. Why colors of all terms when there are many other stylish words to choose from? I have no comment to make since I don't know the reason myself. My assumption is that colors are used because giving people hues representative of them makes it easier to refer to and remember them by. It may not be the answer you were expecting, but it can't be helped. The colors have their own ways of working and they have basically nothing in common. It's akin to how visible colors have their own vibrant characteristics. In that sense, the term colors isn't entirely off-putting. Let's see, I might make a ranged deck, or I think it works well with uh, Netzac Explorer specifically, because a lot of them are Pierce. I think a couple are Blunt. Now where's ranged? I guess I haven't showed this off yet, but you can search for specific pages by using this. Dude, where is ranged? I don't, I don't see it anywhere. Okay, I must be crazy. Or do I not have any ranged cards? I should. Yeah, I definitely have them. Yeah, we see these are Pierce, and so that would combine well with these abnormality cards. Or at least this one. I'll make that for the next part, and I will see you then. Peace.